we're given the sequence a sub n equals n to the fourth divided by n to the third. We want to determine if the sequence is bounded or unbounded, determine if the sequence is monotonic or not monotonic, and then finally determine if the sequence converges or diverges, and if the sequence does converge, we want to determine the value it converges to. Well, taking a look at the formula for a sub n, notice how we can simplify this. Since the bases are the same and we're dividing, we would subtract the exponents. So a sub n can be written as n raised to the power of four minus three, which would just be n to the first, or just n. So let's go ahead and use this formula to answer these three questions. For this first question, to determine if the sequence is bounded or unbounded, a sequence is bounded if it has an upper bound and a lower bound, meaning all the terms of a bounded sequence are between or equal to the upper and lower bounds. So looking at the graph of these two sequences here, one in red and one in blue, both have an upper bound of a, since the value of the terms in the sequence are all less than or equal to a, and they have a lower bound of b, since all of the terms in the sequence have a value greater than or equal to b. In order for a sequence to be bounded, it must have an upper bound and a lower bound. So notice for our sequence, a sub one, the first term, is equal to one, and a sub two would just be equal to two. And as we continue, notice how, notice how one would be the smallest value of the sequence. So the sequence is bounded below by one, but as it increases, the value of the terms increases without bound, and therefore there's no upper bound. And therefore we say the sequence is unbounded. A nice way to see this would be to graph the sequence, which I've done here, and notice how this verifies we do have a lower bound of one, and there is no upper bound because the terms in the sequence increase without bound as n increases. Next, we want to determine if the sequence is monotonic or not monotonic. A sequence is monotonic if it's always increasing or always decreasing. As an example, a monotonically increasing sequence is a sequence in which each term is greater than or equal to the previous term in the sequence. So here are two examples of monotonically increasing sequences. Of course, we can also have monotonically decreasing sequences, but in our case, our sequence is monotonically increasing, as we can easily see from the graph, and therefore we can say we do have a monotonic sequence. And then finally, we want to determine if the sequence converges or diverges, and if the sequence converges, we want to determine the value it converges to. Well again, quickly going back to our graph, because the value of these terms are increasing without bound, the sequence is going to diverge, but to be more formal about this, we say that if a sub n equals f of n, and the limit as x approaches infinity of f of x equals l, then the sequence a sub n converges to l. So sequences that have limits converge, and sequences that don't have limits diverge. So notice if we have a sub n equals n, we can let f of x equals x, and then take the limit as x approaches infinity of f of x, which is x. And we can easily see as x approaches infinity, x also approaches infinity, and since infinity doesn't exist, the limit doesn't exist, therefore the limit as n approaches infinity of our sequence doesn't exist, and therefore we say the sequence diverges. So in this case we have a sequence that is unbounded, monotonic, and divergent or diverges. I hope you found this helpful.